Jim Meehan and John Blanchett from the Spokesman Review. Uh, Zags uh, moved to 21 and 0 tonight. Uh, handle San Diego 79 to 43. John, there's a lot of chatter about the possibility the Zags will be ranked number one come Monday, uh, but they seemed unaffected by it tonight and they took care of business. Yeah, it's another one of those workmanlike efforts, especially on the defensive end, uh, limiting San Diego to just 32% from the field. Uh, for a while, we weren't sure whether the uh, Terraros were going to get into double digits in the second half. Uh, really one of the better uh, defensive efforts this season and just kind of a uh, a signal that the Zags are, or, uh, aren't looking any farther than the next game. Nigel Williams-Goss, another big night. He had 19 in the first half. Um, the Zags did what they kind of do against a lot of these WCC teams. They overpowered them inside with Jonathan Williams and Shemek Karnowski, Zach Collins. Uh, they have a, an advantage there, and, and then you throw in the guard line, it, it makes it pretty tough for opposing defenses. Yeah, and some nice teamwork between uh, Shemek Karnowski, Jonathan Williams, on kind of a lot of high-low passes tonight, or, or uh, passes from Shem to Jonathan cutting down the lane for layups and dunks. Uh, kind of a wrinkle that we haven't seen too much of yet. Uh, no Killian Tilly. He sat out with his sprained ankle. Zags with, with three big uh, rotation in the first half. Uh, expanded that when they got the lead uh, to a comfortable margin, but uh, seemed to work just fine tonight. And now it's on to Pepperdine on Saturday and before the polls come out Monday. Thanks for joining us.